And we are wrestling with the WWE Elimination Chamber. It's, um, Chamber. Let, let's say it right since it's in Montreal. Elimination Chamber. Ha ha. You okay, though, man? Don't you know who I am? I am Kevin Owens. Ha ha. I am, I am the, I am a very popular Canadian, but I am not on the card. Oh, I fart in your general direction. Now go away, or I shall taunt you a second time. Yep. Your mother was a hamster, and your father smelled the bell the batteries. <laughs> I actually had that on a t-shirt, so. I have I fart in your general direction in the Oh, no. oh great. We stand we stand next to each other, we could be an entire Monty Python skit. Yeah. Alright, um there could be uh more matches announced, but this is what's uh dropping down um next Saturday. Edge and Beth Phoenix versus uh Finn Balor and Rhea Ripley. Who wins who? Uh clearly this is gonna build into the Ray Dominic match at Mania. Um, so, yeah, Edge, Edge and Beth will clearly get the win here. Yeah, I see that happening. Well, wait. If we have Edge and Finn Balor at Mania, wouldn't that mean Beth Phoenix would have to pin Rhea Ripley? And Rhea is going to Mania. Mm, no, Edge can pin Finn Balor uh, thanks to help from Rey Mysterio. And may, we probably get Mysterio and Balor. And we save Edge for uh, a, a match with uh, somebody else. Could this maybe be convoluted enough for it just ends in disqualification? <sighs> I mean, may, maybe Edge uh, loses loses it and starts beating down on Rhea. No. All right, fine. Maybe Dominic starts beating down on Beth. No. O- otherwise, otherwise, this match is going to end with a clean pin. Hmm. I I see at least Edge getting his redemption at Mania. But, but, but what on what other match can you do with Finn Balor and Edge, especially when the main attraction of Judgment Day is Rhea and Charlotte and Ray and Dominic? I'm just saying, going over what they were. But WWE I think I mean you could do um, Edge and Priest at Mania. He you know maybe a number of months ago I would have said that. But Priest has become the you know, he he's the you know the the, the, the fourth wheel here. I mean, he's the fourth wheel, but he's the only one really doing any wrestling out of the four of them. Well, I mean... Uh, but what type of match on the chance you do you do Balor and Edge again? I mean, it would just have to be an old-fashioned, hardcore, or last-man-standing match. No, we had so many last-man-standing matches this year. Uh, SummerSlam. Uh, yeah. there was there's another one with the women. Uh, Charlotte and um, uh, and Ronda. What was that on an I Quit? Match? Uh, that no, that was an I Quit match. Uh, it was uh, uh, was it Bailey and Bianca? Mm, possibly. I know there there was a there was a last woman standing match, so Yeah. Um Okay. 
I, I, I mean, and, and, unless unless you go for some like you know unsanctioned match, I don't I don't see what I don't see I don't see what else like great, but there are, there are a, a, a number of other people that could uh yeah you know, that I I I could see Edge competing against. Uh you know you know especially, you know what the Oh no 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 that's WrestleMania twenty three was the WrestleMania Edge missed. Because oh no, yeah, because he got taken out in the money in the bank match. Yeah. See, I say save. I say you know you, you do this match. Uh, and we're 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 gonna we're getting. I mean, unless something happens on Monday, we're getting Lesnar and Lashley. For the third time at the chamber, which seems odd. Uh, I mean, and and since they're you know they're talking it up as like a million dollar price fight, yeah, and I'm thinking, okay, maybe we'll get something we've never seen before at WrestleMania with Edge and yeah, Bobby or Edge and Brock. Hmm. Um, what do you think? Oh, you know, we'll, we'll go come back to that in a bit. Oh, but, um, I mean, yeah, we could. Would you trust Brock Lesnar with Edge? Um,. I I would I I think I think I I think I I would So that does bring us to a possible match Bobby Lashley versus Brock Lesnar Um what why would mm-hmm. they do it at Elimination Chamber unless it's a clusterfuck? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking it doesn't it uh it doesn't even start. I'm betting Yeah, because we've seen Brock get so many over on Lashley in the past number of weeks. That I'd expect Lashley to attack Lesnar, uh, you know, on his entrance. And then they have a last man I quit match at um, WrestleMania. Uh, they have a, either a Sable on a pole match, um, or. Uh, uh, or they have, you know, uh, uh, dang it, um, I forgot the word, uh, um, you know, a a steroids on a pole match, or a, a submission match. Sorority submission match. Sponsored by Van Burrs. A pillow fight. Hmm. There is a joke I can make, but I'd rather not just make it. Because there's a lot of bitch kids now. Um, You're just making me edit things out now. Um... Alright, let's get into the Elimination Chamber matches. Um, the, 
Elimination Chamber match uh, for the number one contemporary to wrestle Bianca Belair for the Raw Women's Championship at WrestleMania. We got Asuka, Liv Morgan, Nikki Cross, Raquel Gonzalez, Natalia, and Carmella. Um, you know, nothing against Carmella, but um, Mella ain't the money match. Um, nobody wants to see <sighs> Bianca and Mella again. Natalia mm-hmm. is there for reasons I don't even know why. Uh, well, uh, she may have been taken out as of last night's SmackDown. Hmm. So who would replace her? Uh, most likely... <sighs> Lacey Evans. No. Uh, probably Rhonda. And we might, we might be getting Ronda and Bianca. Um, if it stays the same as is, who knows? Maybe, maybe somebody will accidentally think it's Carmelo Hayes in the match. We're not ready for intergender wrestling at. Uh, no, like. But you see, like, our truth like, pushing him to the ring. Like, come on. Yeah. Your match. You've been an ass. Oh, my bad. <laughs> um. Uh, and so they, they, and until that, there's only one clear winner here. Yes. Um, it's Asuka. You know, it feels like Asuka... It's the moment that she's been waiting for, honestly. It was supposed to be at 34 against Charlotte. It didn't happen. She could have had well, a moment um, at, um, she could have had a moment at, uh, 37. Uh, Rhea took that away from her. I think it's time Oscar has a moment at WrestleMania, no? Oh. Oh, yeah, 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 absolutely. The only other one I could really guess that, as is, is... Um, Ra- Raquel. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, can, I can see them getting behind a Raquel-Bianca match. The only pushback I see them having with that is that she's... Still relatively new to the roster. Well, well, I mean, uh, uh, I mean, okay, I, I understand that, but you know, uh, you know Bianca and Raquel, they have you know, you know, similar like. You know, the ways they got there are the same. There's a lot of common history there. Right. Uh, so if they're if they're going for like if they're going for a face versus face, man, man that that's the one to do it. So we're well, unanimous that Oscar is Oscar and Raquel is as is. Yes. All right. Uh, elimination Chamber match for the WWE United States Championship. Uh, Austin Theory versus Seth Freaking Rollins versus Johnny Gargano versus Jonah. Bronson. Right. Oh, God, here come all these dogs. Damian Priest and Montez Ford. This Talk about. Role of Great talent right here. Yeah, and it's a waste. In what way? It's it, it, it's it's an elimination chamber for in, for a title that's not gonna really matter in the long run. Do you think we're even going to get a United States Championship match at WrestleMania? No. 
Uh, I mean... Unless it's John Cena in theory. Unless it's John Cena in theory. The only, the only thing I see, I see, I see two, two options. Either somehow Montez Ford pulls off a huge upset, and they're testing this to see if Montez is ready for the big singles push. That, or Theory clearly walks out the winner. I mean, what if Seth Rollins win? Does that give him any path to, to WrestleMania? Uh, I mean, they, they may be setting up another Rollins mismatch. They, they, I think they may be doing Rollins and Becky against Miz and Maurice. Well, right now we're at um, Logan Paul versus that, Seth Rollins. Yeah, but, yeah, that's right. Seth Rollins and Logan, and it's not going to be for the United States title. No, I mean Johnny so Gargano's there to lose. What? What about Priest? It depends on whether or not. The mixed tag match happens before this match. Hmm. Okay. Uh, if the mixed tag match happens before, I'll, I'd say Priest's chances increase a little bit. If it happens after, no chance. Okay. I mean, uh... Yeah, yeah, Bronson Reed is in there to get, like, two, three quick eliminations by being a monster. And then get rolled up or quick pins uh, by Montez Ford. By Montez Ford or getting stomped by Rollins. Um, I don't see Rollins being a major factor in this match. I see it's going to be Deary and Ford at the end. I, I, what I see is that Theory is going to be the last man in. And by the time we get to Theory, there will only be two men left. And right before Theory enters, that, that fight, that, 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 yeah, the, the fourth elimination happens. But then, okay, maybe it's, uh, maybe it's, uh, you know, Ford getting the roll up on Bronson, and then Bronson just destroys Montez, Theory comes in, doesn't have to do a damn thing, and wins it. I can see that happening. Like... You know, you don't need theory, you know, going into uh, you know, like being thrown into the uh pod this year. Most likely, Bronson will do it to to Montez. So we'll uh, agree that Montez Ford is getting the push in this match. At, at, at least, it, he'll be at least in the the top three, and and he'll, he'll get at least one elimination. Does Austin Theory need the United States Championship in order to wrestle John Cena at WrestleMania? No. Then again, would we care? I mean, why wouldn't we? I mean, unless Theory's going to drop it before Mania? But, look, because I'm looking at Bronson Reed right now, Jonah. Um, what would his path be at WrestleMania if, if any, if he won this match and got the United States Championship? Uh, nothing. 
he'd probably be the the winner of the the battle royal if they even decide to do it. So the only it seems like the only way we would get a United States Championship match is if Austin Theory wins. Yep. All right, then Austin Theory wins. Uh, any disagreement with that? Nope. Who's your second pick? Montez. My second... My second pick would be, um... Bronson. Maybe you do Bronson Reed versus, um... Montez Ford at Mania. Yeah, but Dawkins is still irrelevant. I mean, I mean, unless you unless you split the profits. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's a good one. Um, you know, I I can see, I can I can kind of see Dawkins as a heel, and that would necess- that would. Be the first uh, rivalry is Dawkins versus uh, Ford for a United States Championship. That that would be interesting. Okay, that gets my interest back in the, the United States title. Not by much, but it's probably more probably be more interesting than anything else we get, and that's including Cena because there. I mean. Are we really expecting John Cena, if if it happens, to walk out of WrestleMania as the United States champion? I won't necessarily agree with that. Um, but I mean, there, 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 there's there's really one angle left for Cena, and. Since they're clearly not doing that, and they're clearly going to do it with Charlotte, and that's how Charlotte eclipses her father as seventeen-time champion, world champion. Yeah, but I mean, John Cena doesn't need that at this point. I mean, he's going to be, he's just a movie star that comes in for selective dates. But let's, let's go back on Montez Ford. If you actually have him win this match, the United States Championship, can you build a storyline between him and um, uh, his tag team partner, uh, Angelo? Um... In what, however amount of time WrestleMania is, and have Ford and um, him. Well, I, I think, I think maybe you could do it without even, without even necessarily needing a heel turn. Kind of like Rey Mysterio and. Um, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Hmm. And then have the heel turn at WrestleMania. Yeah. Okay. I mean, like, no, well, I mean, yeah, yeah. They go into Mania, it's, it's the Battle of the Prophets. You know, Ford retains. You know, Dawkins then beats up Ford to the point where Bianca comes out and is like screaming, "Why? Why? Why?" Yeah, I don't think she'd, she'd do that. She probably has a match later on that night. Has better, bigger things to do. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, screw her husband. Who cares? Only on Bang Bros. Dot com. Alright, um, that brings us to the last match, the main event. If this isn't the main event, I don't know what the hell they're doing. Um, 
Sami Zayn versus Roman Reigns. And I mean, this is the perfect storm to be one of the biggest matches this year. Um, just from the crowd reaction that it's going to get. Um, yes, Roman Reigns is going to win. But do the people turn on Cody and say we want Sammy? No. No, because the the promo that went down this past Monday between Cody and Heyman, that's Hard Times 2.0. The story of how Heyman took essentially the money he was given by Vince to keep ECW afloat in 2000 and gave the rumors 20% of it to Dusty to get involved with, you know, to, for his four months of employment in ECW. You know, that, that was... Uh, that was absolutely unbelievable. I I don't think I don't think Sammy is expecting to walk out as the champion. Uh, because last night on SmackDown. Jey Uso did show up for his tag team title defense. Um, uh, he showed up literally at the very last minute. Um, but then uh, he encountered Sammy backstage separately from everybody else. And Sammy said, you don't have to go down with the ship. There's a way out for you. I'm thinking Sammy's going into this not with a, a plan to win the championship. I think he's going in to set Roman up. Maybe that could work, but but my thing of it is, would if they went that route of I know I'm not winning, I'm going to go down. Would the crowd really accept that? I think so, especially if you get. If Jay gets involved, uh, and we end up seeing a split of Sammy and Jay against Jimmy and Solo, I mean that that's gonna you know that's gonna see emerge as a theme this at this year's WrestleMania. It's brothers or partners at least. No, what I was thinking was. Sammy is on the cusp of winning the championship. Um, everything is looking his way. And then Jay knocks him down. And Jay attacks him. And he's the re Jay's the reason Sammy doesn't win the title. And then you do <sighs> Owens and Suzanne uh, same versus the Usos. The Usos, like likely it. Okay, I said, but... Oh, yeah, 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 um... God. Ah. Uh, I think... I th why... have Jay do this whole thing... To begin with. 
to drum up some controversy. It is WWE yeah. after all. Yeah, yes, but no, but see, you gotta remember the bloodline operates outside of WWE's parameters in terms of being on screen. So, you know, them just making Jimmy Roman's bitch again, or Jay Roman's bitch again, just, it, it, it shows no progress. It just brings us back to where we were before. Okay, well, let's say that we do uh, Jay and Sammy versus a Solo and Jimmy. What happens to Owens? There is rumors of, a, of another member being brought into the bloodline. You think after everything that they did to Owens that they would, he would bring it, come in? No, there's another member being oh, rumored to join the bloodline. Well, I heard Umarka's son is um, getting into wrestling. Or maybe that's too soon. Wait, hey, whose son? Uh, Umarka. Oh. Uh, yeah, I think so. And I think... But I, I think that's too soon. There was so, There's somebody, but... Umaga is um, uh, clearly going into the Hall of Fame this year, so. Oh, really? Yeah, it's uh, it's most likely uh, and here and, and, and most likely is going to be Batista. Okay. So, honestly, Roman is winning this match. It's going to be, you seem that it's going to be no backlash on Cody, which is a good thing. Um, so, yeah, I don't think there's too much more to talk about, no? No, I think, uh, I think that's, uh, I think that's about it. Um, we will conclude our coverage of, um, WWE Elimination Chamber. Join us next week as, uh, well, we're not going to review it. We'll review it in two weeks. Um, I don't know what they'll talk about next week. Um, maybe more clarity going into Elimination Chamber. Uh, and this, that'll conclude this episode as a whole. Um. Of course, thank you for listening. If you like what we're doing, please like, subscribe, comment, put on YouTube and chat box. Uh, join us this um, uh, this Tuesday, um, actually Valentine's Day, um, as we interview uh, Jay Macias. Um, and on this Wednesday, as we interview Ruby Roberts. Um, of, uh, of course, this was sponsored by World Energy, Play One Coffee. Um, Follow the show at Wrestling with Eve on both Twitter and Instagram for information on who we're interviewing, when we're interviewing, the links to those interviews, and so much more. Um, you can follow me personally at JMC993. Where can they find Scooter? As always, find me on Twitter at ScooterDust. Uh, the future of the remix is still up in the air uh, as of this recording. And of course, uh, Tune in as the campaign of my time in Dungeons and Dragons comes to a close for in the last three episodes. Y'all kind of want to miss it. New episodes every Saturday, along with me and the rest of the Smoking Dragons, Twitch.tv, Backstar Smoking Dragons. For Coleco Yachts and Scooter Dust, I'm James J, and this has been Wrestling with... Entertainment. Hey folks, this is the Colossal Mike Law, and you are listening to Wrestling with Entertainment.
Enjoy the show. Support these guys. We appreciate it very much. We'll see you at ringside.